Hello. The derivative of sine of x equals cosine of x, and in this video we will prove it using the definition of the derivative of a function. The definition of the derivative tells us that f prime of x equals the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches zero. In the process, we will also need the trigonometric identity for the sine of the sum of two angles, and this is sine of x plus y equals sine of x cosine of y plus cosine of x sine of y. And we will also need the two special trigonometric limits, where the first one is the limit of sine of x over x as x approaches zero is one, and the second one, the limit of cosine of x minus one over x as x approaches zero is zero. So then let's start and let f of x be equal to sine of x. Then according to the formula above, f prime of x equals the limit of a quotient, where in the numerator first we have f of x plus h, and this tells us that in the sine function we need to replace x with x plus h. So we will write sine of x plus h minus f of x is sine of x all this over h, and h approaches zero. At this point, we cannot use direct substitution because it will cause the numerator and the denominator to become zero. So instead, we will start by expanding sine of x plus h using this formula. So then, we will have the limit of sine of x cosine of h plus cosine of x sine of h. So again, here I'm following this formula where in place of x plus y, we have x plus h. Now let's bring down minus sine of x. So minus sine of x over h as h approaches zero. Now in the numerator we have three terms, and from the first and the last I will factor out sine of x. So then we will have the limit, and when I factor out sine of x, in parentheses I will have cosine of h minus one. So as you see sine of x times cosine of h equals sine of x cosine of h, and sine of x times negative one is negative sine of x. And now I will bring down cosine of x sine of h, so we will have plus cosine of x sine of h over h as h approaches zero. Now in the next step, I will split this fraction into two fractions. So I will write the limit, and the first fraction will be sine of x times cosine of h minus one over h, and the second fraction cosine of x times sine of h over h as h approaches zero. And now, because the limit of a sum is the same as a sum of two limits, I will write this as a sum of two limits. So then, we will have the limit of the first fraction, sine of x times cosine of h minus one over h as h approaches zero, plus, the limit of cosine of x times sine of h over h as h approaches zero. Now in each of these limits, the variable we are working with is h. In the first expression, we have sine of x that does not contain h. 
Therefore, we can take it and move it in front of the limit. And we will do the same with cosine of x in the second limit. So now we will have sine of x times the limit of cosine of h minus 1 over h as h approaches 0 plus cosine of x times the limit of sine of h over h as h approaches 0. And now let's take a look at these two limits. The first one is the special trigonometric limit whose value is 0 and the second one is the special trigonometric limit whose value is 1. And what we have now is sine of x times 0 plus cosine of x times 1. All this equals cosine of x. So we just proved that the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Thank you for watching.